What's going on guys? Original Rod Guy here and today we're reviewing five more of the 2021 NASCAR diecasts from Lionel. In today's video I'll be reviewing the number five Kyle Larson, the 99 of Daniel Suarez, the 9 of Chase Elliott, the 48 of Alex Bowman, and the 24 of William Byron. Please enjoy. To start off the video, we're going to be reviewing the number five of Kyle Larson. As we look at the box, you see like the Hendrick Marsports logo. It says it's a diecast buying chassis. And it's a limited edition adult flexible with the official license product for NASCAR. And on the bottom, it says it's not suitable for individuals 21 years of age. Come on, man. It's just a toy car. Why be 21? It's not like there's any alcohol advertising of any sort on this, but they do them. Like, would Hot Wheels ever do this? No. Like, that's how you attract people. I'm not 21, but I'm 18, so don't arrest me, Lionel. Sorry about digressing. Let's open it up. Now that's out of the box, let's take a look at the diecast itself. By me lifting it, it seems kind of heavy. But this is why it's a die-cast metal chassis. It's not just the body, but the chassis as well. Because the other ones I reviewed were plastic bodies. As you see, it's like the HendrickCars.com logo. is a little bit shinier than the others. We've got the car number five. we got the Charleston fun. got a little bit of like his classic stripe U.S. colors. That's the reason why NASCAR is so American. Got the Valvoline logos at the back. It says this is the car of Kyle Larson. Also, Nations Guard as well. And it's a Chevy Camaro. And on the bottom, you can see that it's actually got the gray. It's not like a white. It looks really shiny on the bottom. In fact, the tires themselves are actually rubber and not plastic, unlike the others. In summary, this car was a little pricier than the others, but it was well worth for what you get. The next one we're reviewing is the 99 of Daniel Suarez. If you look at the box, this one's different than Kyle Larson because this one just says four and up. And it's the Daniel Suarez for track as racing. You got the NASCAR logo in front, the information on the side. Got uh, the Action Racing Collectibles sponsor for collectibles. And it says it's like got the hologram for NASCAR. I think it's an official license product. And still the choice of champions according to Action Racing. So now let's take it out of the box. Let's have a look at the car itself. If you look at the side, you can see the 99. It's a nice little lilac and orchid color. Because it's like the Tootsie sponsor. It's not the chocolates, but the lounge owned by Kid Rock himself. That's fine from Game Gold, Green Wind Shirts, the Goodyear tires. You need the whole logo. You can see, and it says it's by Dan we're driven by Daniel Suarez. You've got all the spots on the back, but this one is different than the Kyle Larson one since the chassis is all plastic, just like the tires. Overall, I can say that's pretty cool, and hopefully, they make more of these for 2023. The next one we're reviewing is the number nine of Chase Elliott. This would be Kyle Larson's Hendrick teammate. It says you got the driver name, the Hendrick Mars Sports logo. It says it's aged four and up. You got the NASCAR official lesson product one. Da, 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 da. And no more time to lose. Let's open it up. Let's have a look at the diecast itself. Look, you take it out of the packaging. You got like the nine, the Napa Auto Parts logo, the Valvoline on the side. It's a Chevy Camaro with the giant Napa hexagon on the hood. On the hood. You got the Luma sponsorship plus um, 
was the one. Plus another sponsor, Unifirst on the side of Napa. It's another plastic chassis and plastic tires still as well. And then you got this, the banner on top says that's a Chase Elliott car. Overall, I kind of like it since he's now my favorite driver. The next diecast we're going to review is the 48 of Alex Bowman. Looking at the box, you got the driver name, says that it's a Hendrick Motorsports car, and you got a really unique pink slash magenta or purple stripe on the package. It's still not so over. Well, it's age four and up, so keep things short. Let's say of the box. Now that's out of the box, let's have a look. You see, it's got the Ally Financial logo with its slogan, Do It Right. It was got the Hendrick Motorsports logo. It's the Hendrick Cars one, actually. Got the Microsoft logo, good gear tires, all plastic. Got a nice little silhouette, a multicolor silhouette for Ally logo on the hood. This car says it's an Alex Bowman one and is a Chevy Camaro. Got the tubing on the bottom, it's all plastic, like most of these, I guess. And a rear, we have a rear wing with the Ally logo and the old Valvoline one. Overall, it looks pretty classy. Which they brought back from 2022, but it's out of my control, sadly. And now for our last sidecast of the video, we'll do the 24 of William Byron. This says it's yet another one of the diecast buying chassis and is a limited edition all collectible. Still have that 21 and 21 and up warning, despite not having any alcohol advertising. Please pray to myself that YouTube doesn't age restrict me for this. Because that would be really awful. This is just reviewing a toy car. Please don't. Now let's take it out of the box. Now let's look at the diecast itself. Taking a box that's equally as heavy as the Kyle Larson one with the Exalta logo on the front, the Valvoline on the side, on the 24, and the classic Rainbow Warrior-esque colors of the giant Exalta A. The sign says William Byron on the window. There's a, another one with the Exalta coding, coding systems, and there's a Chevy Camaro. On the bottom, you see like a die cast, a metal chassis, which this is makes it a little heavier. And the Goodyear tires are rubber, which I kind of like, even though it's still pretty equally, equally as pricey as the Kyle Lars one. It really doesn't matter, at least I have the classic colors, so that works best for me. That is all for today. Please remember to like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and please comment below what you like if you like your channel or hit the bell for more notifications. See you all next video.